Zealand cricket seems to be on something of a high at the moment. We were just talking about the fact that a lot of people are tipping them for this tournament. Yeah, it's interesting. It's you know we've had a, probably a very good two years, um, you know, from Test cricket to, to one day cricket and uh, you know a little bit of 2020, you know, especially over the last. I guess a couple of months with all the one day cricket we've played against Sri Lanka and and Pakistan, you know, we've done really well and put some good performances on the board. I guess along with that, you know, we are playing at home, so everyone's familiar with the, you know, the hotels, the grounds, um, the guys' families will be around, so so that does help. I guess, you know, the further you get down the tournament though, it you know becomes a little bit different. Um, you know, the finals in Melbourne for instance. Um, whether we get there or not, um, I'm pretty sure a couple of guys have only played at the MCG, so that's very different. And, and New Zealand hasn't been to a final before, so that as well is you know interesting. It's interesting then that you're talking about going to a final and the sort of confidence in the team. There is a little bit of confidence, I think. Um, like I said, you know everyone's familiar with with stuff, which I think helps. Um, by all accounts, we have a very good draw. Um, a lot of people talk about that. Um, but yeah, I think the brand of cricket we've been playing over the last few months is, is good and um, hopefully that'll put us in good stead. Give us an insight into the mindset of the guys going into a game like Scotland. Is it almost like another warm-up for the, the Black Caps? No, not at all. I think they'll be treating it as any other game. I mean, I'm not sure what sort of team they'll play. I mean, I, I personally believe you need to take it as, you know, you, you're playing one of the top sides. Um, you know, people talk about momentum, and I think the way they, they maybe played the other day against Zimbabwe, I think they might have been a little bit, you know, not worried about that, but that would have annoyed a few of them. You know, because you can't just decide that uh, against Scotland you're not going to turn up, and then maybe the following game against Australia, for instance, now we've got to turn up and play our cricket. So you need to make sure everything's consistent, and I'm sure the lads will be. Just give us some recollections, if you can, of your time playing in Scotland? Uh, yeah, it was, it was great. I was there for a couple of seasons and then last year went back with the New Zealand A team. Great country. A little bit like today with the weather wise. Um, you know, I had a, had a lot of fun, met a lot of people. Still got quite close friends from my time back then. Any kind of overriding memories, if you like, of matches you played or performances you put in when you were across there? Or? Probably the, the biggest one was the recent one in the New Zealand A tour where I got 98 and ran off the field and um, hit a road cone on the way in and I think you guys might have got it on TV which pleased everyone in my team because I yeah, had it replayed to me about three weeks later.